I'm gonna take a shot on this one. I'm gonna say beer. I'm buying everybody around on this! Oh my god! Dougie Hamilton will lead the Devils in scoring. Mr. LaRocco, what's your take? As good as he was offensively, um, I'm going to say shots because I think Jack Hughes really breaks out this year. I think Hughes is going to do really good things for, for Jersey. Um, he's the first overall talent for a reason. Um, you know, I think, you know, he's gotten – as he's matures, he's getting a little bigger, a little stronger, um, a little smarter. Um, and I just think – He's going to not explode this year, but I think Hughes is really going to break out and have a really, really good year for New Jersey. Um, Dougie Hamilton's really good. He's a, you know, he's a good defenseman. He can, you know, rack up points. Um, but I think it's going to be Jack Hughes's year. Phil? I'm going to say beer. And yeah. the reason why I say this is because, you know, everybody's talking about Jack Hughes and everybody thinks that he'll uh, – He'll break out, and I, I do agree to a point. I, I think Jack Hughes is going to have a good year, but Dougie Hamilton's going to get a ton of ice time, and I, I have a feeling that a lot of Dougie Hamilton's minutes will probably be spent with Jack Hughes. So on those plays that Hughes is either assisting or scoring, who do you think is going to end up having an assist on a large majority of those plays? I think it's Hamilton. I think Hamilton's going to be involved in the vast majority of the plays that Jack Hughes ends up getting a point in. So I, I do think that Jack Hughes probably will end up leading the Devils in scoring, but I would not be shocked in the slightest bit if Dougie Hamilton ended up leading the Devils in scoring and did it by a very slim margin. I think it's I think it's Jack Hughes. Uh, so I'm going to just say shot. And it's one of those things you don't want your defenseman to lead your team in scoring. No, you don't. Yeah, you're right. So uh, you could say he might. There's a chance. He better not. That's 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 not a good sign. You're right. Uh, Dougie yeah. Hamilton also, uh, doesn't he have some durability issues? Like he's going to miss like he, – he always tends to like miss like a week or two during the season. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking always like the way my ex-girlfriend used to always – Say that I always did something wrong. Anyway. Oh, I thought that was going in a different direction. Yeah. Oh, thank God. I, I thought there was going to be a punchline right there, and then there wasn't. Uh, but no, you don't want your defenseman to ever lead your team in scoring. Cole Sillinger will be the surprise rookie to crack an NHL roster this season. John. I'm going to say shot i don't know if there's any real rookies that come out of this draft class that you know that end up cracking an nhl roster i mean if there would be one maybe mason mctavish just mm -hmm. because i think he has nhl size at this point and he's got some skill but i don't even think he makes it i, I just i really have trouble seeing someone from this draft class coming out and, and making an opening night roster or are you, are you talking about making an opening night roster or just cracking at some point this year? Anthony, I think this one was yours. Um, I guess I opening night roster really. Um, yeah, then I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go shot. And, and like I said, if there was one, I would say maybe Mason McTavish, but I mean, Damian LaSalle looked decent against uh against the rangers last night so good for him you know i'm gonna jump on this before we go to the end and uh i'm gonna say shot uh i'm i think he's he's gonna be on the the roster at some point during the year but it's <laughs> <laughs> uh i think he's gonna be on the yeah. roster at some point this year but on the other hand i'm i'm not sure about opening night um, and and how that's gonna go? Over to you. I'm going beer, and I posed this question because I read um, I read that Cole Schillinger was opening up a lot of eyes in Columbus, and that uh, they were talking about he could possibly start the season centering Line because he's been that good in training camp. Um, and Columbus isn't really particularly deep at center either. No. Um, so I mean, if if he's really opening that much eyes and he's playing well, and they really like his game. Um. It's, it's certainly possible. I mean, the kid's skilled, comes from a good bloodline. 
Um, and being that a lot of the top picks from this year's draft have already commi- committed to Michigan and going back to school and whatnot, um, he doesn't really have much competition um, from this year's class. So put all that together, I think there might be a chance that he makes Columbus. Uh, I got I to gotta pose this question to you guys also right now. Um, just before we get to the last and very critical question that we're going to ask. Who gets more points this year, Cock or Hughes? I think it's gonna, definitely going to be Hughes. Uh, but I would say who gets more points, Lafreniere or um, Hughes? I'm going to say Lafreniere there. I, I think Lafreniere is going to break out. And he's going to be playing probably with Mika Zibanejad. And I think that's going to help him big time. So I'm going to go with Lafreniere. I don't think it's going to be a, a, a sizable gap. But I, I think he will score more points than Jack Hughes. Anthony. Um, I don't know. This is, this is tough. I mean, Hughes, Hughes is, I mean, you could, you could say Nico Hishier, but Hughes is the devil's premier player. I mean, he's the guy that the devil's offense is going to run through. The Rangers have, you know, Panarin and Zabinajad, um, that are their main guys. I think Hughes is New Jersey's main guy. Uh, I think he might see more time on ice than Lafreniere. I mean, I, I could see it being really close. Um, so it's really, honestly, it's really hard for me to say, but if I had a gun to my head, I'm, I'm going to stick with Jack Hughes. All right. So by the way, we're going to throw out a quick trivia question as well. Uh, since Steven brought this up. Will Cole Sillinger play for as many teams as his dad? Mm. How many teams did Mike Sillinger play for in the NHL? 12. Filk? 11. He played for the Detroit Red Wings, the Vancouver Canucks, the New York Islanders, the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, the Philadelphia Flyers, the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Florida Panthers, the Columbus Blue Jackets, the St. Louis Blues, the Ottawa Senators, the Phoenix Coyotes, and the Nashville Predators. That would be 12, Mr. LaRocco. Wow. And the winner goes to you. Wow. By the way, if, if, you, if you complain about playing for 12 teams, but you have a 17-year career, that's, I, think that, I think I'd be okay having a 17-year career playing for 12 teams. Yeah, I, I think I'd, I'd be okay having a one-year career in the NHL. Right. Like, I mean, Michelle Petit had a lot, too. Cole Sillinger, uh, Mike Sillinger blew him out of the water. Hopefully, Cole won't have to worry about that whatsoever. To our final question, and we're hoping YouTube isn't going to censor us on anything, but a prominent unvaccinated player on the New Jersey Devils will affect the team in the standings. John, I'll turn this one over to you first. Well, Mark, you don't have to. It's public knowledge that Mackenzie Blackwood is that player. So yeah, I, it's yeah, okay. So now I can change I, that. I had yeah, to, I switched it already in the in the. Um, no, we did. I just didn't update it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's Mackenzie Blackwood, and yeah, when you lose your starting goaltender, that's gonna be a problem for New Jersey because they they. Uh, they brought in Jonathan Bernier to help with goaltending depth and competition. And Bernier could help. He could end up being their starter. Uh, Scott Wedgwood's really not that good. So I, I, I don't like him as an uh, even as a backup. But uh, Blackwood was their guy. He was uh, their guy. So, yeah, um, I, I would say that this is definitely going to affect them. It might not be as bad, though, if Bernie A can play the way that he has at his very best points of his career, though. So, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely say buy a round on this. Oh, I'm sorry, I was so focused on that, I never put that up. Anthony, I'm gonna go to you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go beer, um, because it really should only affect them when they go play Canadian teams. Um, so what does that mean? How many times are they going to go to maybe around what, 10 or so? Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. 10 games is a, is a big thing. If, if, you know, your number, if your number one goalie is not playing, 
Um, but Jonathan Bernier will help. You know, they brought him in. Um, and then they have Wedgwood, too, who's, you know, decent backup. Um, but, you know, McKenzie Blackwood, I th- you know, he's a talented guy. He's clearly the best goaltender. Um, but being that he should really only affect them when they're crossing the border going to Canada, uh, it's not, it's not going to be devastating. But, I mean, it's certainly not good, that's for sure. Um, and who knows? Maybe, you know, maybe he changes his mind and he gets it at some point and, you know, they, it won't be relevant anymore. But, um, yeah, it's certainly not good for New Jersey, though. You want your number one goaltender to be available to you at every single moment. And, you know, for those games in Canada, he's not going to be. And also, let's be clear again, this is about the policy of the Canadian government that you have to be vaccinated in order to be uh with the NHL working over there. Todd, uh, I want to say Todd Bertuzzi. Tyler Bertuzzi is in a similar situation as well with the yes. with the Detroit Red Wings. Yeah. It's easier to replace a guy in the lineup, even though it's a guy in your top line, than it is your starting goaltender. And Mackenzie Blackwood is their goalie. Is it going to affect them in the standings? If it affects you because of the six games you're going to lose them for, and it's probably going to be six. It's, uh, let's see. Uh, Calgary, Edmonton, it's 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 like maybe nine at the most. Um, no, no, it's not going to affect them. It's 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 I'm going to go shot on this. And the fact that it's kind of been getting blown up. It, it's. I, I it, it makes me have a little bit of emotions about it that sort of it mirrors what I was thinking about with the Jack Eichel situation. Well, you want to hear it's, a. Uh... A fun fact. The guy, Tyler, absolutely. Tyler Bertuzzi, Mackenzie Blackwood, and Zach Ronaldo, who are, are all unvaccinated, and all three of them share the same agent. Yeah. So that's it. I mean, that, that would be one hell of a coincidence. So, just, I mean, uh, and we're not <laughs> going to argue against for or against anything, but it should always be your choice. That's it's just that simple. And we're going to just move on from there. I don't think it's going to affect them because I do think they got a goaltending that can at least play a couple of the games in Canada, but not that big of an issue. But, guys, we want to know what you think. Uh, is losing Blackwood or going to be a problem for the Devils in the standings? Is Dougie Hamilton going to lead the Devils in points, more importantly? Jack Eichel, right to have hard feelings with the with Buffalo Sabres? Braden Schneider going to break the Rangers roster. Kiefer Bellows going to say bye-bye. Throw it all down in the comments below, guys. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.